Hi and welcome class, thank you for joining. Today I'm going to go over a question that I always get from my students and that is, what is the cloud? How does it work? So we're going to go over cloud services and specifically how they relate to storage today. So a cloud service is any service made available to users on demand via the internet from a cloud computing provider's servers. It's basically broken down into these four types, software, data, platform, and storage. Now as I mentioned, I'm going to talk about storage in this lesson. That's because all of my students create a OneDrive account and they use cloud uh, storage throughout the entirety of the class. We don't save anything to a flash drive because what happens when you take a flash drive to class? You lose it, right? So we're going to use cloud-based services only and so let's figure out what we actually need to know about these. I broke it down into a five-part acronym. C being computer, L being login, O being offsite, U being uploaded, and D being downloading. Now I'm going to go into each of these in details and obviously it spells out cloud, right? So you should be able to remember this by the end of this lesson. So C is for computer, right? So I'm talking about your desktop, laptops, smartphones, tablets. Now the thing to recognize is that the cloud can be accessed from all of these in terms of storage. And the great part is if you decide to save your files to the cloud, you can access them anywhere at any time from any of these devices. So there's really no reason that uh, if you save to the cloud that you wouldn't be able to access it unless you just don't have access to the internet. So as far as logging in and getting set up on any of these cloud internet uh, storage providers, you just need to provide your personal information, your email address, and a password. Now remember, you're going to be saving and downloading files from the cloud, you're going to want to make sure that you have a good password because anything that you save to the cloud, if you have a weak password, somebody else can hack into that and they'll have access to your files, your personal information, your email address, things like that. You generally don't uh, want them to have access, especially to those files. So make sure you have a great password. I'm talking uppercase letters, lowercase letters, numbers, and special characters. Next, what do they provide? Well, I use OneDrive in my classes. The reason for that, most of my students use Microsoft Windows. It integrates very well with Microsoft Windows and they give you five gigs of free data. Again, these are all free services. Next up is Google Drive. If you use an Android device, you notice that uh, it's automatically downloaded with Google Drive. Google Drive is great because it, it has 15 gigs of free data that you can use, or free storage rather, that you can use. Next up is iCloud. Now iCloud is great too because iCloud, if you're an iPhone user, you know if you have that iCloud on your phone, you can upload photos to iCloud as well as any other files that you uh, normally would have. If you're using an older iPhone, you upgrade to that new one, your iCloud goes with you, and the phone should have all of those same applications and files as you upgrade your phone. So that's a nice service as well. Next up is Dropbox. They offer two gigs of free service. All right, so O is for offsite. Offsite's important because you're saving, again, on those uh, provider's servers, meaning they're not being saved on your own computer. And that's a benefit, right? It's going to save that storage space onto your computer. So now instead of saving onto your hard drive, you're saving onto the cloud. Next, it improves disaster recovery. So for example, we just had a lot of heavy rain here in Southern California some people's houses got flooded. Now if any of their computers got damaged during that, uh, you know, they got water damage, then they would lose everything that they have on those computers if the computer doesn't work anymore, unless they save their files on the cloud. You save your files on the cloud, you don't really have to worry about uh, if those, you know, if that computer breaks because, again, you'll be able to access it from any device. Next, increases collaboration. So I do a lot of group projects with my students and a lot of times you know, they want to share their documents. Now you don't want to take a flash drive and share those documents back and forth. It's much easier to just create a document for or save a document to the cloud and share that document with other people on the cloud. You do that, anyone could access it anywhere at any time. But there are some drawbacks to the cloud potential security threats, right? What if Google gets hacked into and your files are now breached, right? You're going to want to make sure that um, you are aware of that drawback when you save your files to that uh, service, okay, or any cloud storage service. Next, requires internet connection. 
you want to make sure that uh, you are aware if you do not have internet connection if your internet service provider is down for whatever reason you're not going to actually have access to your files at that time so very important that you are aware of that lastly terms of agreement when I'm talking about terms of agreement take for example Microsoft OneDrive used to have 15 gigs of free data or free uh, storage now it got moved back to 5 gigs of free storage so definitely be aware of the terms of agreement that you uh, that you use when you sign up for these providers next is uploading uploading is very important in my classes because most of the computers delete your work when you're done right you log off your computer most school computers will just delete whatever's on there and so you want to save to the cloud before you go home again this is better because tr it's basic it's the process of transferring data from your computer to another larger computer system that being the cloud that's better than saving it on your flash drive because you forget that flash drive in the classroom game over your files are gone if you can't find that flash drive now that symbol that you see there on the left is the universal upload symbol so it has the cloud and an up arrow anytime you see that you click that you upload your file to uh, the providers storage and then you will have that next time you go into that website next up is downloading now let's say we do a project in class the class is uh, finished and we haven't finished that project next time you come to class you have to download that project back onto the computer right so you go into uh, OneDrive or whatever storage system you're using and you download that back on to your computer and then uh, that's the process of receiving data from the cloud to your computer and that's the process of downloading so I hope this is kind of explained what cloud-based storage is and how it works uh, what you need to get started and um, if you have any questions definitely put it in the comments section I'd be happy to respond to any of the questions that you might have thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again soon thank you